Hello everyone, how are you? Hope you're having a good day. We are trying to do our best. Remember the stack of cards that was in another room? We got split into five different stacks. Here's another one. Abigail's having art lessons today. Mm-hmm. We learn how to cut. She's doing really well, cutting it closer and closer. And she's getting a few of the markers and started to learn how to paint. Maybe we can have many, many colors in our next painting. And Raphael is advancing in his class. His teacher was kind of worried about him because we're doing, we're tackling one task at a time or one class at a time to allow Raphael to really get into it. Like, he has a very hard time understanding abstract terms and um, just the English language as a whole. He's like brand new to everything. It feels to me like Raphael needs a lot of work. Tackle it all at once figure out what's going on with a lot of exercise and exercising the things that are new to him and he doesn't understand yet. And then he just flourishes and goes all on his own. And it's all good. In case you guys didn't notice, hello. That tree over there, there's limbs falling down. I don't feel very safe right here actually. That tree right there, there's always limbs falling down. It's squeaking right now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move out of here. Ooh, does not sound good. Also, no one told me this is gonna happen, so basically every two weeks, I have to mow the entire lawn. I could have sworn that someone told me that it's not gonna happen. Or at least, no one had actively told me, like, hey, you're gonna have to... I, I might need a new mower, I don't know. It, it does, uh, it vibrates a lot, and I, Andrea can't do the big mower. I have to do it for her. Uh, and I'm just fine with it, but it's, uh, it's been raining every single day. Every single day. Non-stop. And it's amazing. It's actually something that not only did I not expect that, but there's a lot of other things that are brand new to me as well with this weather. So remember, last year we had a show, like we showcased different mushrooms that grow around here. And some of them are really amazing looking. Other ones are normal. I bet some of these are edible. And we can't control all of the mushrooms and Rudy gets to them as well. And that leads me to believe they are not bad for us. But there are so many kinds that it doesn't even make sense to try and attempt to eat them or figure out what they are. At least not on our own. Might need an encyclopedia here. Because it does look like we have some certain types or kinds and they just take various forms and shapes of the same kind. As of right now, I don't think we're gonna try to eat them. Who knows? But where we get rain only and nothing else, no sunlight, this is happening, which is really cool looking. Getting different kinds of stuff here. Definitely not the same as other places in the yard. Quite amazing. Yep, those are definitely different kinds. You like exploring, Rudy? You love it? Puppy, I'm sorry, we can't play. We're gonna go inside now, actually. We can't play in this weather. We're gonna go inside, okay? We can't play in this weather, it's impossible. It's about to get really bad here. We must have talked about this like about 20 vlogs in a row, I think. But, I don't think I ever asked you guys. When it rains sideways, and you know you can't go outside to play, what do you guys do? What is a good activity? What do you guys do? I know what we do. I have more ideas for what we can do. But I would like to know what you guys actually do in weather like this. I'm, I don't know if you can see this, but it's raining sideways. What is it? Right? Abigail has a very hard time with loud noises on the higher spectrum. I don't like loud. Right? Yeah. So when we have noises, like white noises that are very loud and are less bassy and more trebly and more up there, she just can't handle it. Yeah. Do you like this rain though? I don't like rain. I don't either. Let's go back to Mommy and Raphael. Goodbye, Rain. Hope you're comfortable there. Oh, it's cold in here. Love this air conditioner. So you know how in Israel, if you guys have been following that long or you can go back and look, we used to buy things just to try it out. And they don't really have like the fresh deli stuff here as much as I would like, like the fish and the salami and other sausage type meat. I don't really know how to classify it. Lunch meat, I guess. But anyway, I thought this time, unfortunately we don't have like, we don't have fresh olives here. I'm not sure if they even grow them in the States at all because of climate. 
But back in Israel, we always got them, and we've been really missing it. And Raphael asked for it, and then Abigail asked for it, too. Yeah, that's really weird. Abigail's never had cottage with uh, olives in it. So we got these Spanish manzanilla olives, right? <laughs> and Abigail tried it for the first time with her cottage, which, okay, I mean, we did used to do it that in yum. Israel. It was yummy. It was yum? Mm -hmm. You liked it? Yes. That's surprising. So would you have it every day? Yes. What's better, olives in cottage or raisins in cottage? Both. Both. Awesome. You know, olives are actually very healthy for you. Yes. And speaking of health, Raphael's been doing all of his PE assignments today, which are actually talking about being safe from hazards. <laughs> That's a Groot. So yeah, Raphael's been learning about that. I didn't think PE is going to be like that. I didn't know, like, it's mandatory, but it's not actually having him exercise. It's actually educational. So what'd you learn? I learned a little bit about safety. Actually, all the pages. There's a lot, so there's only a few... Um, seven or six or five a few of those and each one whole assignment do you know what that that thing? yeah yeah like all the assignments in it yeah actually one of the assignments Raphael had was to rearrange a room so it's safer so Raphael decided to place the items in this order so people don't trip on them I personally really dislike having items in here in general but these are both baskets we have to go through to sort them out so kids don't have extra items they don't need that they don't play with. Can I sort a little bit? Sort my muscles. Once you're done with... Okay. Exercise. You're trying to be punny? Anyhow, Raphael's almost done with his schoolwork. He's been at it all day again. Whoa. Catching up, right? Yeah. Let's go. That's pretty skillful. <laughs> I can stretch. I'm flexible. So Raphael today had to write a report on this hallway. As you can see, our hallway has trip hazards in it, and he was doing a report today about what he could do around the house to make it safer. So he came in here, and he said, this is a trip hazard, and they took uh, pictures before and after. Him and Hadar do schoolwork uh, during the day. So him and Hadar were in here taking pictures, and he's also doing PE. Uh, so he did a before and after what he could do around the house to make the house safer. Which is good for like fire, you know, like fire prevention and because if you're going through the hallway and you got a bunch of stuff in it, I mean, that's not really good because it'd be dark and smoky and you can't see and you have to crawl on the ground to get out. Uh, and we are starting to teach Raphael about fire prevention and stuff. So today they also took pictures for PE because they have to take pictures to show that they're actually doing the work. Um, he took pictures of him doing the stretch and it is like a, not a quest, but what do you call it? A challenge, not a quest, a challenge. Uh, the stretching challenge. So Raphael is super flexible, EDS flexible. I just woke her up. All I did was come over here. She knew I was going to film her. She's like, wait a minute, let me get ready. So I sure am glad that I made everyone food in the crock pot because I think they would have starved to death today because I was busy working on my website. It's kind of like a, just a fun thing for me to do. It's not really a money maker and it probably never will be. Let me speak this into existence. This website's gonna be real successful and it's gonna be a fun hobby. How about that? The secret, right? So I made soup and it is pretty much all gone now. Um, it was a vegetable soup. That's all that's left. Like maybe one cup. So I'm going to get it out of here and uh, put it in the fridge for tomorrow. Somebody can have their Abigail loves soup. Hates beans. Kinda hates tuna. She'll eat it now. But she kinda hates it. Um, she, she will not eat beans. Even baked beans that are so delicious. You know, with the, the sweet brown sugar and everything. Will not eat it. Hates it. Hates beans. I don't know if it's a texture thing. That's probably a texture thing. I mean, 
they are a little weird. So she'll eat tuna now, but uh, not beans. I've tried every single bean for her too. <laughs> I haven't been able, I think tomorrow we're going to just do strictly filming for the kids channel. Um, they have been wanting to do like seven activities and we've not been able to do it. So I'm going to take a break off tomorrow and I'm just going to do activities with them. Because it's not fair to them that I'm working all the time and not doing the activities with them. And plus, Raphael does so many hours of schoolwork every day, just because we're trying to get him to complete 20% of all of his schoolwork within the first month, and that was the goal that they had set for school, uh, their pacing goal, so it was 20%. Um, so we're just trying to get that done right now because a couple of days there we weren't home. We went to town um, and then we did some other stuff and Zeb came over and just he's missed a couple of days, a couple of days of the distance learning. So we don't really count weekends. We just let him go ahead and do some school on the weekends. But it would be nice if we did have some kind of schedule where everybody was off for a day or two at a time. And we could just do activities on those days. But you know how it is. You know how it is. You can't take a break. Uh, especially during a pandemic. If you've got something going on, you need to make that money. So we do have to work. And <laughs> right now it's a little hard because we're working pretty much every day. So... Uh, also, I am fasting. I still haven't done my video because I was working on my blog today. Um, and I hadn't worked on it for a couple of weeks. It's, it's, uh, fullyliving.com. It's really like, uh, like a passion project for me right now. So I, I like to have something to decompress with. It's something, like I used to have a blog, but it wasn't, it wasn't on a website. It was on, uh just some random page that I used to write on and I used to treat it like a blog but it was very very not professional at all and I'm trying to make this look nice like somebody else did it so it's taken me a while to get it to look nice anyway tomorrow we're gonna be doing activities and I wanna go outside because we have something special to play with I'm really excited about it and I think we're also going to catch some bugs and blow some bubbles and do our adventure book because that's one of the main things that I would like to do with them. So I will see you tomorrow. Raphael cleaned this living room up, by the way. And I'm, oh, the kitty is looking at something out there. Probably Rudy. Rudy went out to pee for the night. And she'll come back in soon. But Raphael cleaned up this living room. He did an all right job. No one can leave the pillows where, where I want them. They always move them. Pillows are everywhere. I don't know. Can't keep a nice pillow arrangement. That's why I took like seven of them out of here because it was just everything. Anyway, I'm going to go for the night and I'll see you tomorrow. As you can tell, it's very, very late and this is about what time we go to bed every night. Uh, Abigail and Raphael went to bed at like 8.30 or so tonight. I will let you see something that's very neat and I'll let them say goodnight to you. Yeah? And over there, look at that. It's a red moth. He looks like he's a little too big for this little guy, though, but he's looking at him. I'll let you know if he catches him. Stay tuned. See you tomorrow. We actually found his shoes. I put them up because they're a little too big, this much too big. I didn't want him to fall behind, like, all the progress that he has made. He has fallen back on some not great traits of communication. So you think I'm dance? Yep. <laughs>